I need someone to kill the sparrows nesting around the guild. The disgusting vermin. All right. All right, now we kill birds. Those damn sparrows. We need money. A right mess of the guild. We need all the money we can get. Um. So let's do a quick look around for birds and murder some birds. Hi, bird. Split. <laughs> There's so. There he even says, you killed a sparrow. Like, illustrating how much of a bad thing that is. Man, that thing went straight through him. There we go. And bird, bird, bird. That was a horrible shot. Wow, this bird is invincible. Okay. I was pretty sure I hit it those first two times. Um, birds, 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 birds. There's one. Die, bitch. Yeah. Killing defenseless sparrows for the guild. I thought I'd be able to drag those mana orbs to me, but for some reason he's not coming. Eh. Come on. That stinks. All right, that's all of them in this little area. Um, but anyway, let's see. I can talk about the controls a little bit, the control issue. There are, the, the two control styles um, in this game, one is more quote unquote updated because it's the way the Fable 2 and 3 controls worked. And the other is the control scheme that the way it was when it, the game first came out. The one and two control scheme or two and three control scheme is uh, hang on, let me find it. I think the only real difference is you can do the me melee attack and the flourish attack with the same button and the interact and the run buttons are mapped to the same thing, which is handy and I like that. But what they messed up was for some reason they decided to have the magic only bound to one button so there's no queuing up three spells to use kind of like if you want to combo spells together you know you, you can't do that which is really dumb and that makes using the new control scheme completely pointless like there's no real reason to actually use the new control scheme um, the core of using my strategy for this game more of the but there's still more out there there's still more okay uh, where's is that one up there? Yeah, I think that might be a bird. Maybe. Birdie, birdie, birdie. Okay. Can't get him from over there. I think I think I saw a bird up there. Birdie, birdie, birdie. Birdie? No. Oh, yes. There you are. Boom. Okay, I think that might have been the last one. Have you killed any more? Ah, oh, you got another. There's still more out there. Dang! Which one am I missing? But yeah, it, it's it's essential later um, to have the ability to queue up multiple spells because you have to be able to activate physical shield and time warp and. Um, Another thing I like to use, I think, multi-strike or something at the same time. And you can't easily do that when you, you can pick one, you can only pick one um, magical ability at a time. So we're not going to do that. We're going to use the old-fashioned method instead. I still haven't seen anyone perform better than you. In short, from what I saw of this game so far, I wasn't super impressed with it. Like, I do love the graphical overhaul, but there are a lot of things that aren't as good as they could be. That was some fancy shooting. Um, they really messed up the menus. And when I go into navigating in a menu later, you might hear some anguish and frustration. Where in the world is this last bird? I'm not seeing it. Let's go up here. I'll fast forward if it takes forever for me to find this last bird, don't worry. I got that one. Which one am I missing? 
Oh my god! There it is! Jesus. You were a ninja! I scanned over you like three times and didn't see you up there. Okay, I think that's it. That's gotta be it. Have you killed any more? Ah, uh, you got another. I think that's the last one. Yay! Little bird. Fantastic. Okay, <laughs> that took way too long. I had to go online and actually find a guy to double check that I had killed all of them. This is unusual for me, I know. I'm not used to... Alright, sorry about that. For some reason, like... My chest started to hurt a lot, so I went and took a walk around the house. Okay, um, we're back. Let's go into the, uh, guild woods with Whisper and... Come on, let's hunt beetles. Do this last little side quest with her, and then head on to graduation and getting out of here. I'm getting to the actual game. The beetle nest is just at the top of the... Wait, did you hear that? It's coming from over there. Bandits. If only we could get across that stream. I know. Why don't you use your bow? Or some of that lightning the guildmaster taught you? I'll heal you if you get hurt. I'm glad you already know healing spells. Alright, we've sort of made a mess with our lightning magic, so let's switch to our bow and arrow and pick them off. I think this part is to give you a little taste of other styles of combat, because you had the beetle quest when you were a little kid, but you didn't really have any experience with ranged or magic. We did it! Magic. Did you see the look on their faces? No, Wait I till didn't. the guildmaster hears about this. They're really far away, Whisper. I didn't see anything. Alright, whatever. That was fun. Not exactly what I would call playing in the woods with beetles, but hey. Alright. I think with that done, we have every part of the really starting showed. area completed. There's no more green blips on our mini-map, as I've accidentally enlarged it and then gotten rid of it like three times over the course of trying to play through this and remember how the controls work. The controls in this game are similar to what I'm used to playing, which is Dark Souls. I've been playing a lot of Dark Souls, but they're different enough to actually confuse me, so yeah, it, 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 there goes forgive the tough me. Old guild master. Old Guildmaster. Yeah, let's leave our teenage years behind. The boy mastered the skills quickly, but then his role was more to learn. For years, the guild was his home, his school, and his life. But as time passed, his thoughts returned always to the world outside. The life he had lost, the family that had been torn from him. At last, only the final day of tests remained. Success would not be in his training. He would receive the guild seal and be free to forge his own destiny. He would become a hero. Before you graduate, there is one final test you must complete. Enter the guild woods and go to the log at the top of the hill. Wait a minute, I look exactly the, the same. Test will be revealed to you there. I thought I left my childhood, luck. teenage slash childhood years behind. Don't I need to get another model update? No? Okay, fine. Guess burgers can't be choosers. I suppose you're wondering how you passed the final test then. It's simple. You must defeat me. Using all you've learned in your years of training. Fun fact, Mace is we'll floating. Begin with your sword. Hit me, if you can. I think you're floating. Well, he was floating. He's definitely not floating now. Put whack, some whack, anger whack, into whack. It. Focus your anger. Use your dark side. Attack me. That is what I taught you. You must focus Very your rage. Good. Now, shoot me with your bow. Uh, don't get too close. Jeez. Okay, fine. What if I get too close? What if I just get in your face? You're getting better at this. Ha! Well done. Fun fact, you actually don't need to charge it up with them. You can just do that. Excellent. I totally forgot. And finally, cast lightning at me. 
Yes, embrace your force powers that I have given you. Use your anger, young Padawan. That's enough. Yes, quite impressive for a novice. You will find real battles rather more fatal than this. That wasn't but a battle, you, you were just a target your dummy. final test. And you're ready to receive your guild seal from the guild master. Man, you guys need to come up with a better final test. That was really boring. Put me in the arena or something, god. Just ran off into the woods and danced around with an old guy for about an hour. That's not a test. That's confusing and weird. <laughs>